Welcome to Harvest Scale Systems Online Training. My name is Richard Bertrand, and today we'll be reviewing how to upload your scale data from the thumb drive to your secure farm account in the cloud. Browse to harvestscale.com and click on the portal link to log in to your farm's secure online account. Enter in your credentials and click log in. From the dashboard page, click on import to start the import process. It is important to note that you have confirmed that the default pay rates and the special pay rates for your farm are valid for the import that you are about to upload. To change pay rates, you may select the change pay rates drop down from the farm management tab. That process is covered in a separate training video. Now that we have confirmed the pay rates for the import that we are about to upload, click Select File to Import. If you have already imported, this will bring you back to yesterday's import. Make sure to browse to the thumb drive that you have inserted, which will be noted with the scale ID number, if you have more than one harvest scale, and your farm name. Select the calendar week that you're working within, and the day of the year that you wish to upload. There should only be one download file within that folder. If there is more than one, it is highly recommended that you use the latest file from the day, and the file is noted with the date and the time that it was downloaded from the scale in military time, hours, minutes, and seconds. Click once on the file that you wish to import and confirm open. The dialog box will disappear and Harvest Scale Online will confirm the file that you have selected with the date and the time. You will be required to confirm the pay rates one last time by selecting this checkbox. You still have time to cancel an import later but it is important that you review these pay rates before the second step of the import process. Click Import Data, and the data will be processed to your farm secure online portal. On Import, you will be provided with a import snapshot, which will give you the total picked on this import, your estimated labor cost before reviewing the transactions below, and your average labor cost per pound if any of your pickers were working hourly wage versus piece rate. Scrolling down, you'll have the ability to review everyone's transactions for the day prior to submitting this import to the cloud and saving the data forever, or saving it for later for somebody else to review, or after realizing a potential pay rate was not correct, you may cancel this import, correct that pay rate, and start over. Each employee's transactions from the scale for that import can be reviewed and edited as needed to make corrections from the day. Simply click on the right drop-down tab to view the individual transactions for that employee for that day. We will go into great detail on how to make edits and adjustments on this import step 2 in a later trading video. For now, we'll stick with overviewing the import process and assume that everything here is correct. By clicking the Submit button, any of your changes made during this import step 2 will be saved permanently to the database. Again, pay rates must be confirmed to be correct this is your last chance to change it. Clicking Submit saves this import to the database forever. Import step number three is a confirmation that your import successfully uploaded to the cloud and provides you with an overview snapshot of your import. It will display the picker and their transaction weight in pounds to easily identify any outliers and display how many pickers were under minimum wage, 
or how many pickers in green made piece rate. If you need to run any unique payroll calculations, you can do that using the productivity report in Microsoft Excel. Saving the pay rates only affects the payroll summary report, which is run later at the end of the pay period. The payroll summary report is designed to output a compliant payroll report based on the Department of Labor standards. If you need to run any unique payroll calculations using only the picker's weight information from the import, you can do so using the employee productivity report and exporting that to Microsoft Excel and multiplying by whatever special pay rates or unique calculations that you need to do for that time period. If you have any questions on how to edit the employee's information from import step number two, before clicking submit, please watch our import step two details video that will highlight some of the key things that you may need to review, edit, or change in the import step two before confirmation of that import. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Harvest Scale Systems distributor or email info at harvestscale.com. We're always happy to help, and thank you so much for watching.